Driving around southern Vermont, you have probably seen Japanese knotweed, even if you didn't know what it was. In our first video, we told you why it's important to control it. Now, we'll show you how to identify this plant at a glance. So this is Japanese knotweed, and we can tell that it's Japanese knotweed by looking at a few physical characteristics. We can look at the leaf, so we're looking at the shape of the leaf, and we can see that it's triangular with a very flat base, and the base is the part of the leaf that's closest to the stem. We can see that it's also tapered at the point, and it's fairly large, so we can see my hand and the size of the leaf, and the leaves can be up to two to five inches wide. We can also look at the whole stem of the plant. So the leaves alternate up the stem, so they're arranged alternately. We can also see these purple spots here. Those are nodes on this plant. Here are some roots. These are just the, the very roots that are holding that stem up on the surface, but actually most of the plant, two-thirds of the plant, are roots underground up to six feet. The plant can get up to 10 feet tall, and here we see it's uh, the end of May. It's only a couple of feet tall, so it still has um, quite a ways to go this growing season, but it can, in some places, grow up to three inches in a day. In summer, the plant produces beautiful white flowers, probably why it was sold in nurseries, until it was discovered just how invasive it is to local ecosystems. Now that you know what knotweed looks like, we'll show you how to keep it under control on your property.